Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 18th of the After Effects tutorial series. So today we're going to learn about roving across time in keyframes. So now as always I'm in my After Effects window, I'm going to start up my new composition right here and uh, press OK. So now usually when I animate, let's take a regular shape just like this and drag it across uh, for an animation. So, for example, let me just set that uh, to, let me just set this uh, pivot point right there. All right, so now I'm going to add in a keyframe uh, in position in the beginning and at the end as always. And you can see that a motion path is actually there. So I can add in some more keyframes just like that. So in one second maybe I can uh, drag it down. In two seconds I maybe I want to drag it up. And in three seconds, I can drag it down again. So now I have an animation of a four second of length, just like this. So sometimes what happens is I actually want uh, uh, to uh, re, re, uh, to change, uh, remap the time of the overall animation. Of course, one way is to use the stretch menu right here and then remap. But that is not really necessary in animation. And I just want to uh, reposition the keyframes just like here. So my one option to actually make the animation shorter is to manually change the keyframes, uh, the position of the keyframes and make it faster. But this is quite time consuming. I just have five keyframes over here, so it does not seem to be a problem. But if I have uh, more uh, number of keyframes, like even 100 keyframes, then this is not feasible. So usually what I do in that case is I rove across the time so that uh, I can make sure that the position of the keyframe stays where they are even if I uh, manipulate. And uh, the main keyframes actually control the sub keyframes right here. So what I do for that is I simply select the range of keyframes just like this. Right click on the keyframes and then here you got the option called robe across time. So once I do that you can actually see that the dots, okay, the keyframes in the center of the uh, first and last keyframe actually turn round. So that means this keyframe is now actually uh, related with this keyframe. And I can also like move it freely uh, just like I did a while ago. And now what happens is that these keyframes are actually linked to the first and the last keyframe. So if I were to drag this down, you can see that uh, the, the keyframes actually move relevant to the first and last keyframe and the speed changes according to it. So I can add in an A's out, let's add in an A's out and an A's in and you can see the keyframes actually move along just like that. So now if I were to, if I want to make that animation uh, longer, I can simply pull out the last keyframe and you can see it moves quite relatively. So in this way, I can draw the motion path that I want according to the keyframes that I have and then also uh, change the time just like that. So this actually makes it quite easy for the animation. So uh, now let's see how we can use this. For example, we can use this for some text effect. Uh, let me use a composition setting of a white background for this. All right, so let me just get in the text just like that, call it tutor tube and let's have an effect uh, of the time just like that. So what I want to do is let's say I want the tutor tube to appear right here from the top. So let me go over here now add in a position just like that. Add in a position, go to the end, let's say three seconds, drag this down and there you go. So let's say I want this to squiggle around a bit, so go to the left, go to the right, go to the left, and right. Okay, so it squiggles around a bit and then it gathers around the main place right there. So what I want is, I want uh, to change the uh, rover cross time, change the rover cross time, and then I want the animation to be fast right here. So I want this to be faster, very fast, so it comes really fast over there. Let me just add in an A's out and an A's in, just like that. All right, so now my animation just comes like that. And now I can duplicate the layer 
and we change the speed of for the second layer. So control C, control V, uh, shift D. Okay, sorry for that. I guess the oh the software froze. I thought the shortcut keys were not was not working for a moment. All right. So anyways, I can just pull these out, pull these out a bit, and pull these out a bit. So just go and press P so that only the keyframe shows up. Press P again. Control D, P again, drag it out, P again, and Control D, P, and drag it out. So now what happens is now I actually got an effect just like this. So you can see that you can actually make a motion tra trail just like this. So what I want to do is I do not want this to actually be of the same opacity otherwise it actually looks quite uh, distracting if you ask me so i want to change the opacity for each layer let's say let's use o uh, sorry t for that uh, let's use a 10 percent for this 10 percent for this one uh, maybe 10 percent is a bit low so i'm just gonna use uh, 30 percent yeah 30 percent seems good and then 30 percent for all Let's just select all of them, T, and it's going to be 30%. And as you know, I, if I select all, it actually changes all into 30%. And let me change this to 40. I want bit this to be 50. And I want, okay, so I need to deselect those first. Press 40, 50, and 60. So you can see a kind, a kind of like a motion trail just like that. Okay, and the Tutor Tube logo actually settles down just like that. So I can have these kind of an effects uh, with robe across time, uh, with robe across time in my keyframes, and you can have a wonderful effect just like that. So this is also another way to make animations quite easy, and as you can see, that it, it really gives a dynamic effect to your animation. So now another thing that I can actually do is I can reverse the timing of the animation as well. So let's say for example, I'll select all the keyframes and right click on it. And if I go on to time reverse keyframe in the keyframe assistance, then what it does is it actually reverses the effect of the Keyframe, so it actually reverses the placement of the keyframe from first to last just like that So let me select position for all So except for this one. I already did the reverse keyframe for this Let's select position for all select all the keyframes right click keyframe assistance and time reverse keyframe and Now you can see it actually goes back just like that. So I can reverse the animation just like that so let me add in uh, motion blur to all of it and you can see that this actually looks quite good so now I need to turn on the motion blur for it as well so if I want to see the motion blur let me just uh, close that out enable the motion blur so that you get a bit of a dynamic effect to your animation so just play it and you can see that there's a very very cool effect of the motion trail right there so I really love this effect now. I really love motion, um, uh, the motion blur for some reason because it gives a dynamic effect to the animation just like that. So it's rendered out just here. So you can see, let me just render that out again. And now it actually plays quite smooth. So you can see that the effect is quite uh, interesting to see. And this actually took us just a couple of minutes. So. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, the le uh, enjoyed this lesson uh, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe.